Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the never-ending backlog. And I guess actually I'm welcoming you for the first time of the new reboot of the never-ending backlog. You know, I've had I think two or three seasons from the past, and I was always trying to find what was going to work best for my schedule, and also just accomplishing the goal of knocking out my backlog while reviewing and providing some feedback for those that might have the same games in my backlog, or perhaps they might be looking at the games and want just a really brief review on it. You know, I was trying to play around with, you know, should it be streaming? Should it be something like Twitch? Should it be something that was more about game capturing? Should it be something that has like a webcam? There's so many things I could have done. And I played around with quite a few of them before kind of realizing that in order to, the, the ultimate goal for this podcast was to basically knock out my backlog. And whether I chose to just do it without any motivation and do it alone or share my kind of progress and feedback, whatever it was, I knew that I was going to figure out the solution that works best for achieving that goal. So that's kind of, kind of why I stepped away for a little while. I've really been trying to figure out, you know, what works best for, for the goal that I'm trying to actually accomplish, which is, like I said, knocking out the backlog. It's never any backlog in. The only way I'm ever going to potentially make it ending or end it in general, is to actually just do it. So I'm actually going back to the roots of what Never Ending Backlog started as, which was a podcast. I would play a game for an hour or two each day, a new game, and I'd spend about five to 10 minutes just talking about the game, the graphics, the controls, everything along those lines. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna go back to. I'm not gonna do a ton of crazy stuff. There might be times where I jump on cam, there might be times where I don't. But for the most part, what I'm gonna plan on doing is I'm going to make an episode Monday through Friday, every single day. It's going to be about 10 to 15, no, five to 10 minutes. I'm going to try to keep them shorter if possible, but there are going to be times I might have interviews or anything along those lines. And basically, I'm just going to play a game. And it's going to be a really enjoyable process for me. I'm not going to worry about doing game captures. I'm just going to upload them on YouTube just as this, so you can still listen to my podcast, even if you don't want to use something like Spotify or Pandora or any of the other podcast platforms out there. I will be uploading it to Buzzsprout, and with Buzzsprout, it will be syndicated to Apple, Amazon, Google, all the other podcast platforms out there, and that's going to be pretty much my main source. So, you know, find me out on different podcast streaming platforms, whatever that might be, and um, yeah, every day, Monday through Friday, we're just going to knock out a new game, and if you know, you're not interested in touching base on every game, and you're like, oh, I wonder if Zach has touched on this game, or maybe he reviewed this game. Go to the list because I'm going to try to do it that way. As for the website, you know, I was doing blog posts dedicated and transcriptions. And it just, like I said, I would spend five to, you know, four to five hours every day creating the podcast, creating the content, and all that stuff. But in the end, I'd only spend the game, play the, the game for 30 minutes. And I'd rather spend more time playing the games and less time talking about the games, as I think most of you would understand that as well. So this is going to be a basically a post, post game review recap. And I think the new system is going to work a lot better for me. I guess the old systems and going back to my old ways. I did pick up some new equipment, so hopefully this mic sounds a little bit better. It's the Shure MV7. Uh, it's a lot easier to set up. It's a lot cleaner on my desk. I just use the standard USB cable, and it just it seems a lot better for what I'm trying to do rather than having the whole mixer board and all that stuff. Because like I said, I want this to be simple. I don't want this to be a complicated project. I don't want this to feel like work. I have enough work. This is supposed to be just fun and uh, kind of get a value for my, the money that I've spent. You know, in the past, I was reached out by a lot of developers, of indie developers that are basically saying like, hey, try our games and review it and all that stuff. And I, I will likely be open to that in the future, but for a while, I don't need to add more games to my list. I need to knock out the ones that I've already been playing. Um, I will be sharing this, like I said, on Buzzsprout. It'll get syndicated. I will share this recording right here on YouTube with the nice little splash background with whatever the title is. So you don't have anything. You don't have to watch anything. There's not going to be any graphics or animations. So I might add a waveform audio thing in the future just for interactivity. But for the most part, it's going to be a static image because I want this more about listening and less about seeing. Um, maybe it's one of those ones that you turn on while you're playing the game. and Then you're getting my feedback while you're playing it. Kind of like a director's commentary, even though I'm not the director nor developer of these games. And then I'll also be sharing about the, kind of these updates on Twitter as well. 
So that's always putting out fires is my Twitter handle. I on neverendingbacklog.com the website is just going to be an embedded uh, Buzzsprout podcast. So you can always go there and list my podcast. It also has links to all of my other channels, such as YouTube, things along those lines. So plenty of options for you to hear and engage. If there are games that you want me to review, throw them on my, throw me a, a tweet on Twitter and uh, I'll see if it's in my backlog. You know, maybe I might pick it up if it's something that I've been interested in. But for the most part, I, before I can add more, I need to complete the ones that I have. And I think I'm up to like 3,000 games that are unplayed. And that's just in my digital content library and, and Steam, Uplay, Origin. That's not even remotely touching any of my physical copies. And I have thousands of physical PC, CDs, floppy disks big box games, all of, the, all of the above. And that's not even counting consoles. So needless to say, there's going to be a lot of content, which is fun. And I think this is the best way and the most practical way to actually knock it all out. So Monday to Friday, I'm going to try to do it in the evenings, closer to 9 p.m. Eastern time, which is my time zone. That gives me a little time to play it, review it, edit it, and also just deal with life as well. Also, there might be times that I record multiple episodes. So if I know like, oh, I'm going on vacation Tuesday through Friday, I might do them all on Monday and have them all and then just schedule them out. So I think it'll work out a lot better that way. You'll have continuous content Monday through Friday. It'll be shorter, not too rambly. Uh, I think it'll be fun. Um, as for what I've been doing for the last almost year, I've been playing uh, Stardew Valley with my wife, which has been very enjoyable. Doing co-op on the Xboxes. And it's been really, really good. I've thoroughly enjoyed that time that we spend together. It's knocking out objectives. We're playing around on the island. And it's just a really, really fun game. If you haven't played Stardew Valley, you're missing out on so much goodness. So I highly recommend it. Also been playing Vampire Survivor on PC. And that game is amazing. It's, it's 3 to $4 on Steam. It's incredibly addicting. It's very engaging. It's easy to play. And overall, it's just a great great game i highly recommend it everything about it it's so good um i think what else i've been playing i have been playing elden ring a little bit on the ps5 not a ton um my friends and i are trying to finish demon souls and then we're also trying to refinish dark souls 2 so punishing myself enough with the souls game now and uh, other than that pretty much it you know for the game crowd been playing uh board games here and there playing with legos because i'm a big lego fan maybe i'll do a podcast on lego someday or just what i'm playing lego wise i do have the new lego star wars i can honestly say i've probably played it 10 minutes it is an overwhelming game if you are a, a completionist it, it just seems like there's so much stuff i have a hard time with the game because my OCD wants to pick up every single stud and pick up, find every single brick. And it, it is a completionist dream where it gives you so much content for such a long period of time. If you want to just get everything, um, but there's a lot of stuff there. So it, it is, it is overwhelming. You know, that's why I've always liked the dark souls games over Elden ring. I think Elden ring is a fun game and I've, I've been enjoying it, but it's just, there's so much stuff and there's so much freedom. And I think the freedom is getting overwhelming where it's like, I like linear sometimes. You know, the Dark Souls games, you have a little choices here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty scripted. And where items fall is relatively scripted. And even if it's a random drop item, you know which characters have it and you know the probabilities that it's going to fall. So it's still very much scripted as well. And um, I, I like the freedom, but at the same time, I like some type of linear game a little bit, or it just gets overwhelming for me, or I just... I think about the time commitment that it'll take to do everything and it becomes like, oh, I cannot do this. So enough of that ranting aside. It's been fun. I'm looking forward to getting back to this. As you'll see, it's a new revitalized logo. Um, you know, my design inspiration was knock something new out in like three minutes. Um, but basically I wanted to do is think of it as a stack of three big box computer games. So that's why it's never ending backlog. Three different computer games stacked on top of each other. That's why they all have different fonts. One maybe is like a uh, fantasy. One's more of a sci-fi, and the other is more of like a Western kind of PC game or something along those. Lines. And, you know, that's where the design inspiration. I went back to a retro design also for backgrounds and colors because I like 
the eighties graphic vibes, just bright popping colors, teals and pinks and purples and turquoises. It's just, just such cool colors. And, uh, this is just going to be a fun, fun podcast. We're going to go back to the roots. We're going to have fun with it. So hopefully you're all going to enjoy it. I look forward to it. Uh, we'll be seeing soon. I'll get started here um, tomorrow, actually, with season one, episode two. I'm not sure which game. I'm still using a Steam randomizer, and we'll figure out what that is. So look forward to seeing you all tomorrow.